What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and before I unpause this, I'd like you to take a little look at Mako here, who I rather suspect is after the damn beer again. But anyway, welcome to RimWorld, back in the colony, and... Oh no! Okay, I'm slightly surprised. Sorry, Mako. Yeah, I've actually got... <laughs> I've actually got a, a, a full list of things to do today. Lots of suggestions come through, so thanks a lot for that. And number one is I'm going to change the storage in here. Uh, we're not going to have simple meals. We're going to make them eat raw corn, I think. Just on the basis that that spoils very, very slowly. Uh, so that should help us a little bit in that respect. Also, it is damn hot. New area has been revealed. Cool. Is there... Oh, now that is interesting. We've actually got a little area in there we can grow in. Oh, that's very cool. We're going to make use of that as a sort of indoor growing area. Nice. Makes this sort of digging out worthwhile. So, what other things have we got to do? We've done the corn with the prisoners. We've got to cremate this man. Well, that leads me to want to change the bill on here. And we're going to go with a do X times one. So, we're just going to do it once because we've got a single corpse to burn toggle the power on that as well and then combined with that we're gonna change our stockpile here a little bit so we're gonna make a little space in the middle of it like that for a completely separate stockpile no nope. need to not have that selected when I do that do, do, do. I delete that put a completely new stockpile in the ah! let me put a completely new stockpile in the middle There we go. Stockpile. Thank you. Now this one, I'm going to turn the main one off corpses. And this one is going to be where the corpses go. So yes. Humano corpses, but nothing else. And then hopefully we can A, easily strip them in here, but also B, easily see how many corpses there are. So I can actually see that we're going to need to do four cremations get all those done. Cool. How are we doing indoors with the heat wave? Unroofed. Why is this all showing as... Ah, because we've just opened this up, haven't we? So we're going to need to put a doorway in. Do, do, do. Where should we have this? Let's... In fact, Build the walls out of something far more sensible than steel. What have we got lots of? We have lots of granite. Let's do granite along there. Just separate off this area, because we have no idea what we might find down here. I don't believe we're going to find anything too malicious, but we've already uncovered at least one thing we weren't expecting, so... Uh, right, another thing I wanted to do, if we get the orders out, I want to change our battery room here a little bit. So I'm going to put a little room on the back that. Wow, it's hot. This is on, isn't it? Let's crank it down a little bit inside, see if we can't try and reduce the temperature in here, because that is toasty. Not quite as toasty as outside, but you can be sure they're not enjoying it. Oh, it, it, it can't. That one cooler is not enough. So let's put this back up to something sensible, and let's build another one down here. Oh, in fact, if I build it on there, it might be easier. Temperature, cooler. I'm going to have to deconstruct it either way, so... At least this way, it might happen a bit quicker. In fact, what I'll do, in order to not lose any of the cold air we have inside, is we can have a steel auto door there. Let's put a bit of wall there, and then we're going to deconstruct the rest. That makes sense. No, what makes sense is to do it one further back so that we can deconstruct all of the sandstone. And also to not build the wall there, but to build the cooler we wanted. There we go. It's perfect. And then once that's finished, I can deconstruct the rest of this out here, and we're not going to lose any of the, well, what limited cool air there is inside. I mean, we can't even keep our freezer cool at the moment. Which reminds me of another one. I was being a massive derp and trying to sell stuff that's in here even though we don't have a trade beacon in here. And we're not going to be able to properly cover it, but... Looks like... 
out there going to be the best and unfortunately because of how things are laid out and where that boundary is that's as good as we can get so yes we lost all of our devil strand inside but we did not lose all of it outside so this stuff 54% yeah we've got a little way to go with that yet cool that's all done so this is now indoors again so that should help the the cooling a little bit even though it seems to be cooler outdoors than indoors that's not particularly good going and then let's, let's claim we don't need to we already claimed all of that cool already claimed that so we can uh, no, not want to deconstruct the power but we're going to end up deconstructing that one bit because I don't think I think that will do everything in that square, unfortunately. And we have lost one of our guys. Unfortunate, how are the rest of them doing? Health. I also need to check on how much these guys are actually worth. He's coming back round, nothing permanent damage wise. And then Vega, so the one... You were the one with the brain injury, so you're going to sell for basically nothing, aren't you? Actually, no, that's not too bad. It's interesting, I checked this before loading up the game, and because he was so badly injured, that was well below a thousand at that point. Um, but because we've got him a bit back up to health, it's getting considerably better. And how about you? Yeah, same with this fella. But uh, I think, let's get rid of this body, and the same to JP Miner, can you... No, let's let him be hauled and we can try out whether or not our little zone up here actually functions. Looks like most of the corpses have been cremated, however. Can I get you to... Where is this? Spills. Oh, we've got one more that needs doing from there, I see. I see. Mining down there going okay. How are we doing for general resources? Alright, I don't want to run out and grab any of the steel out here yet until we discover whether or not we've got any mining opportunities inside. Let's claim all this so that we can deconstruct that wall that's in our way there as well. Bit of extra freebie sandstone, never hurts. I guess the heat wave is over. I was going to say, it's got to be hot in this room. <laughs> that will be pulling heat into here at the time being, but not for much longer. 60 degrees. Um, there we go. There we go. It's open to outside now. Phew. <laughs> Before they got like some major heat stroke. I bet you they're um I bet you they were pretty uh pretty unhappy with that. Wearing some frayed apparel, okay. Let's get rid of your synthread pants and equip you immediately with something better. Stay to you in thirty percent useless. Good devil strand. I'd actually rather keep those for selling. Muffalo will do. Good, looking okay. No one has put any corn in there yet, but I imagine that's because it's of what sort of priority have we got? Important, and the food store is also important. Let's lower that to preferred then, just to make sure that for the time being they take the stuff down there. And this corpse should just sit here ready to be stripped until such point as we put another bill in, and then he's in the right place already. Ooh, where, where, where have we got roofs collapsing? Oh, right. Damn it, we lost sandstone. This stuff's expensive. It's a bit ironic that that's somehow considered roofed, but yeah. Uh, let's see, if I make that no roof region, does it count? No, apparently not. Let's mine off that corner, just tidy things up a little bit. Cooler should now be. Let's have a look, what are we set on? 20 degrees, nope. 20 degrees is good. And this one, 20 degrees as well. Sweet. So we should be able to keep the inside pretty consistent. Freezer is back up to the point where it is keeping things frozen. Is our trade beacon built yet? No. Oh, yes, it is. Cool. Cool. So, next trader we get come by, we can sell off at the very least the beer, hopefully. Maybe some of this other stuff as well. Have we cleared up outside? No, there's still stuff to be hauled. 
Still a lot of stuff to be hauled. I imagine people are busy. <laughs> Sculpture has got lots of work left. You see, we got we don't have enough people with priority on crafting yet, but that's partly because there's a lot to do. JP Miner seems... Let's put JP Miner slightly higher on the crafting because he's really no longer got anything worthwhile to research. I think we're just doing... Let's get rid of this screen. I think we're just doing... We're doing nutrient resynthesis, which is like the most pointless thing. Let's put you right down on that. Get JP Miner doing some proper crafting. Benefactorist is also there, but there's lots of mining to be done, so not surprising he's not getting any time with that. Grammary, hunting... And then not doing a huge amount else except cleaning. Maybe we could stick that in as well. See how that does. <clears throat> Sorry, take a quick drink. And let's get this stuff hauled out as well. Cool, we did find some more ore in here. Okay, so that's going to repeatedly collapse even though let's set it as a no roof region, but it looks like that's just going to collapse over and over again because of where it is. That's kind of annoying. Um, can we just support it somehow? How do I know where to support it? I can't actually see the roof. It's gone no roof region, let's see if that makes any difference, or whether that continues to collapse over and over again. Hopefully come, someone comes along and repairs that bit of broken power conduit, wherever it is. It's in there somewhere, I'd imagine it's up here that it's collapsing. But I'm not that bothered by that, so let's have a look at my list. We've done the trade beacon, we've done the corn, we've checked prisoner values, we've had a quick look at the art. Uh, we're going to think about harvesting someone's organs. Alright, you guys, now you're kind of healthy. What are you worth? You're healthy. You're healthy. So, both got issues. 1735, right. He is evidently worth selling. And 1845, you're evidently worth selling as well. But with the efficiency of 40%, I don't think we're going to try and keep that person. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. <laughs> oh, yes, that's another thing I wanted to do, was put one more prisoner bed in. So let's get one more bed on this end, just so that we've got kind of a... And let's put that back to... Oh, no. No. There you go. Glad it gives me a uh, confirmation method for that one. But yeah, set that back so that they've got uh, the same uh, same amount of um, prisoner storage as we have prisoner eating space. And I think we can also, just so it looks good, let's have a couple of pot plants in there. Keep them happy. Struck compacted steel, no less. can probably also deconstruct all of that, not bothered by that, although, let me guess, deconstruct that and it'll start collapsing all of a sudden. And we're done in here, cool, so, do haul some stuff, get rid of this rubbish, let's put standing lamp there, standing lamp there, and then let's go and check what the deal is. Pirates from the Owls, and there is a few of them. Damn. Okay. Sniper, couple of melee, looks like a shotgun, charge rifle, molotovs, that's not good. Charge rifle, charge rifle, another sniper, another sniper, pump shotgun. So there's nothing massively special, but just a lot of guys. I think we should be alright, assuming that we don't have sudden power problems. That's kind of what I'm trying to work out here, is I'm going to get myself a backup battery room just in case something goes hideously wrong. They're making their progress round, so when they get to about here, the entrance of that corridor, we can pause things up and wake people up. Alright guys, let's get the slaughter on the go. 
and conjurer as well and let's get the power turned on that's right guys we have a welcoming party for you okay and what weapons have we got so Mako is the sniper rifle let's get him up on one of these corners well away Grammary also sniper let's have you down here well away Andra behind the building ready to respond Null survival let's have you on the corner cruelty with his LMG definitely inside and benefactress with his charge rifle definitely inside in which case we might as well have the Null inside as well keep the snipers out that's a piece of music I don't recognise. Already someone running away. Actually, we'll move Andre inside just in case one of them gets keen enough to charge up here. We've got someone melee ready to attack straight away. Interesting they consider that to be a safe spot. I might have to haul that bit out of the way up there. Because they're very keen on that. Has Grammarie got shots? Yeah, everyone seems to have shots. Take them out, guys. Lost our first turret. Interesting. And we we blew through the wall. Ah, this is a good opportunity to replace that with granite, to be honest. And we're not going to reach those guys to chase them down, so I think that is combat over. Let's undo these guys. And, right, they're going to haul the corpses, so we're not going to do any stripping here. Just going to allow everything for Mool. Ooh. Anything else missing? Should really double click, but uh, somehow it's that weird kind of laziness where <laughs> you'd rather repeatedly do a boring action than have to think about it. And right, let's also have a look at Clark. What are you like? How healthy are you? Nothing to the brain, a little bit weakened, nothing missing. Good start. He's a masochist. He's nervous, that's not great. However, his stats are pretty damn amazing. Planet class master at shooting. I think we might want Clark. In shock from exceptional pain. Very happy about that. <laughs> yep, let's get Clark. I want I want him. I think I want someone who's really good at shooting. We need to be aware that at some point there's probably gonna come an attack that we don't have our turrets up for. Let's get the power off. And start doing something about this wall. I'm just going to do it bit by bit to begin with. I don't want to end up with that missing when an attack comes. Uh, but the idea is we're going to replace this entire thing with granite because it's a bit stronger and it doesn't burn. Let's also haul that out of the way. And we've got the opportunity. Might also square off that corner because I have some purposes for this space back here. And I'll redo the turrets at some point. They're good, but I think they could be a little better. Everything is off, everyone is being collected, things are looking good, stuff's being destructed, so I can stick that up. I'm not going to put that one in until that little bit there is finished. Speed things up a bit as well, no need for any of that. 0% chance of good quality, why is that? Are we not using meds? I mean, he's in the medical bed. He's being treated by someone with a, that's a very good doctor. Why would there be such a bad chance of decent quality? I will have to have a muse on that one. I don't know. But still, prisoner room seems to be doing its job nicely. Definitely room for those three guys. Clark is... Hopefully going to be okay. How are you? I bet you this guy, once he's up and working again, is worth a fair bit with those stats. Just because those are so high. But yes, we want to keep him. Even though he's nervous, we will keep our hands on him for the time being. How are they? Yeah, they've got a nice big interior. They're pretty happy. Those things. Not like sharing the bedroom, but tough. You are prisoners after all. Cool, I'm just looking down the list of things to do, and it seems like we are 
doing all right as far as stuff that people have suggested I try out. You guys are awesome for all the suggestions to the point where I'm now, as I said, having to actually write them down for each episode because there's so much stuff coming in that I can't keep track of it all. In fact, no, I want that to be a power switch. Uh, no, I don't. Cancel that. I want the gap in the middle of the room to be the power switch. I want that there, and I actually want another one there. So that we're going to have some disconnected battery rooms, essentially. And this well, this back one is going to be our backup. Uh, that light's in a silly place. No, so a bit. Let's deconstruct. Put it back there and run the power we're going to need down the centre of the room. Sweet. Should probably haul the bits of rock out of the way. Though I've already done most of it, but yeah. Nice, I was going to get people to prioritise on that, so it's good that they are. I'm not on the corner bit. Get the ball done. Oh well, they're doing it now, so... Trade ship, combat supplier. Ooh, we we he's successful. Oh damn it! Damn it! I left recruitment on for him. He was the one that we decided we weren't going to bother with. Arr! He's the guy with no efficiency at all at anything. Oops. Right. Well, you sir are going to be. Although the the heat tolerant hard worker probably helps, but uh, I think he is going to be the first person we send to the stars when we get the opportunity. But anyway, for the time being. Uh, I have to have a muse on who he's going to be. There's been quite a few people asking about that, so I'll have a think on it. Uh, right, you can do some menial stuff. So let's have you hauling, let's have you... Yeah, plant cutting, why not? Then we can allow someone who's also on hauling to do a bit more. So maybe Andra, let's drop your hauling down. Let's have you a priority on... Though not on trolling. I don't think that matters. Is there anything else useful? Let's have you repairing yet. Yeah. I'd say given this guy is so useless, let's kind of almost have him doing a bit of everything. Just low, similar priority on everything that's not going to impact us. So don't think I want him doing crafting, for example, just because the quality of the crafting matters. The same way, I mean, I know Grammarie's on it. But that'll look that looks alright for the time being, and I'll have a muse on, on who we're gonna make him. I do have a list of names, but I have to decide which which one of you guys is gonna be. And we also wanna find the sneaky JP miner. You there, dude. Let's go talk to this combat supplier. Get some more weapons. Sell some more weapons as well. So yeah, I am not a fan of charge rifles particularly, but I think we might keep the good one. Survival rifle, let's get rid of that. Triple rocket launcher, not a chance. And then, what are we going to buy? Surely you've got something we want to buy. Kind of not. Let's just make some money then. That's fine, that's fine. And we need to go and do some body stripping, so... Nice one. So how many you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to chromate. This is a nice technique, by the way. Uh, who was it that suggested this to me? Someone did. I can't remember. Sorry. Whoever it was that suggested this to me, I like it. I think it might have been Sean, actually. I give my brain chance to work on it a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that this one was Sean. And I quite like that. Nice and straightforward. Everything where it needs to be already. If I'd done that before, we let's talk to the um, trader again quickly. In fact, JP Miner, sir. Oh, you're in bed. Uh, I'm not going to wake you up just for this. Hopefully, he'll wake up soon, and we'll go and sell the remainder of the clothes. Yep. Quick, quick, quick. We got a load of armor vests and stuff out of that that we can get rid of, so don't need all of these. We keep the the decent ones to equip some people. Nice military helmets. Uh, I prefer cowboy hats. <laughs> 
so I'll sell those on and yeah that looks good just a little bit of extra money keeps our room a little bit clearer and to lack weapons so yeah you are you are pretty useless aren't you it's not even like I can I don't think there's anything I can do to fix that either it's like what what, what would you add in brain operation you said that is <laughs> That would be a bit harsh. I, I think I think we can keep him around for the time being, um, but yes, I might have to get rid of him pretty swiftly when we don't. And of course, his shooting ability is going to be pretty rubbish as well. But how, how's he on melee? He's pa very passionate about melee, so maybe we'll give him a a melee weapon of some sort. He got a half decent, yeah, club would be quite nice and then we can give him a personal shield too oh god look at him and then he can be the immobile club wielding pillbox I should not have got this dude uh, yeah you can have the, the slightly shabby no that's a good personal shield that's a good one alright you can have the normal one then we'll keep the really nice ones for someone important <laughs> oh what have we done I feel slightly loath to call anyone after him. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is Beastly's opportunity to become someone and then be the person that gets to open this at that speed. Maybe that would be a, no, that would be a bit harsh. I, I might use him for that purpose, but kind of as a, a sacrificial one rather than anything else. Uh, need to decide what to do down here. That's a kind of cool little area we've uncovered. Not a huge amount of mining going on, obviously, but I think that's understandable given that we have asked them to do quite a bit. I wonder if we got anyone that's our mining priorities. Obviously, we've got the Null and Benefactorists that are amazing at it. Maybe I need to drop crafting down still. Like that. So we've still got Benefactorists primarily working on mining rather than primarily working on anything else. Cool, wall is finished, very nice. Let's fill in the missing bits and then we need to rebuild ourselves some turrets. Yeah, I, I want these, in fact I can do that now, can't I? I want these further back. So about there, yep. Yeah. And then clear those. It's just because they're... So these turrets have got a bit more chance when they come around the corner of staying in one piece for a little while. Because they do immediately run for those two. So let's just shift those back a little bit. I'm slowly going to shift it all back a little bit so that they're much more in the kill zone when they come out. But that's going to take a little time, so... Looking alright, how long we can go in this episode? Yeah, looking at the sort of point where I might... Uh, another new area, nice. What we got? Uh, I'm not sure that's a new area, strictly. Um, although interesting. What have we come across here? That looks big. In and there, that's very interesting. I'm not sure... I'm not sure about that down there. That looks reasonably sizable. So... Might have to open that with a little bit of caution, given that it comes straight into our base. It's not like not like there is a um, a safe route there. What I'd probably do is block that off and build a tunnel that led them up here. Uh, but yeah, let's worry about that somewhat down the line. Things otherwise seem to be going okay. So we've got another room for another the missing battery in there, and then what we're going to do is charge these up and then disconnect that room. From the, from the circuit as a kind of <coughs> excuse me as a kind of battery bank basically and that will be disconnected safe if we get one of the um, struck compacted steel cool safe if we get one of the explosions the uh, overloads but at the same time not going to uh, what do you mean not going to what am I even saying at the same time provides us with a backup this is what I'm supposed to be saying a little bit out of my arse now. <laughs> nice, nice, everything going, everything going smoothly. Although things are not happening very quickly. I think if that's, if I have a complaint, that would be it. Is that 
it's a slow process at the moment. And the guy we got on board is really not going to change things much. Uh, so let's have another look at Vega. Are you... Uh, no, psychologically sensitive, lazy, we are not interested in Vega. So not trying to recruit, we're just going to sell you or perhaps steal some of your body parts. And then we've got Clark, who... Cool, is absolutely fine. His value is going to be big. I thought it was going to be, yeah, 2.1k. He is worth a lot, but... I didn't get medicine. That's why the chances were so terrible. I'd forgotten to change that. Whoops. Whoops. So he's not going to be as happy as the other guy will be, but... Let's trigger him over and we'll get him on our side because he looks pretty decent. What did he have? He had nervous, so he had that, that nervous break problem. But at the same time, he's industrious and he is incredibly good at shooting. And can, and can fill in as a kind of crafter as well, given he's got passion down there as well. Ah, that's quite nice. Travellers, I should really start thinking about capturing some of the solo guys when they come by. <laughs> Look how slow he is in comparison to everybody. It's like he's running at normal game speed and everybody else... Uh, then you look at, like, Null or someone else doing something. That was definitely a mistake. No, don't get over keen. Let them finish that bit first, otherwise the defences won't work. Otherwise, how are we doing? We're we are finishing the tailoring projects. I think we might even have finished what I had lined up on there. Yeah, I think I think that's all done. We are. Where's the fire? That's not so bad. Oh, don't hit grammary. You sir, go and get treatment. What is it about people getting struck with lightning in my colony? They're really not, not good. And now he's actually on fire. Someone put him out. Did that, I noticed earlier in the statistics, you've got major threats. I was just interested, does someone getting struck by lightning count as a major threat? But no, it is not. That, that hasn't changed since I looked at the start. I tend to, when my first... Oh, stop blighting my crops. I uh, didn't get the Devil Strand. Yes. Yes, thank God. <laughs> yeah, when I first load up the game, I tend to have a quick look around, see how everything's doing, just check I haven't forgotten anything specific. Uh, and that was one of the things I noticed today, is that we'd had 19 uh, raids and 20... Uh, 19 raids? I think it was 18 raids and 20 major threats at that point. Not that I could work out what they all were, but... Uh, Cool, Grammary back intact. No permanent damage, I hope. Paint 3% from his bite scar. I assume. So that's a nasty scar. So, with this fella on board, I don't think we have any spare beds anymore either, do we? No, we don't. So let's get that sorted just in case we do recruit this fella soon. So, more bedrooms are going to go where? Let's have another corridor. So that we can do our 5x6s, uh, although let's do them this way around now, as we're using the royal beds. That way I can... No, I, and there's no way I can have good symmetry, symmetry, is there? Damn it. That certainly isn't the way to do it. So. Get that out, and that out like that. And let's do another one. A couple of extra rooms, maybe three more rooms just for the time being, as that seems to fit nicely. Or is that rubbish? No, that's rubbish. Having them there is unnecessary when we've got all this space up here that we could be making use of. I don't know what to do with that little room area there, but what we do have is room here. I 
And with how the beds are laid out now, I could even start putting doors either side of some of the rooms where it makes sense. Like there, not these ones obviously, but these ones here again could have a door either side just to make things quicker. Oh, and the race is on. Null's in the lead. Benefactor is not far behind. Bristow. Oh, hang on. This is cheating. This is quite clearly cheating. Oh no. Mako's buggered off. Probably for a drink. <laughs> Bloody Alki. <laughs> no, Null's got this. Hands down. What, what is the relevant skills? Null, 15. Benefactor is 15. Oh, you'd think Benefactor would be would be keeping up. But uh, have we got any noticeable... He's got the enhanced sight as well. He's got bionic eye. Versus Null with, with the simple prosthetic. And uh, I suppose Noel is getting the occasional bit of help from the drunkard. <laughs> they don't want to do down here, they're bored of that, apparently. Loads of steel to be using down there, but uh, we've also got quite a lot of steel just like kicking around up here, for example. Let's uh, also finish off our granite wall along there, maybe even extend it out a bit so that they are more inclined to enter that properly. I want to make the distance from back here to the entry point as long as possible so that they then panic and run down the end to try and find some cover. There is lots of hauling that needs doing and not enough people to do it quite clearly. I don't think I changed any of the hauling priorities, although I did raise some of the other like the crafting priorities and so on. I'm not going to panic too much though, this is mostly tidying up, this is not important stuff. Yes, yeah, so it's going to take us a while to recruit Clark I feel. So yeah, we're at the point where next happening, whatever it may be, and I think I'm going to knock it on the head for this episode. This looks like we're coming up to about 45 minutes, that's a, a nice length for an episode I think. Not too short, not too long. As soon as it gets near an hour, I feel like that's that's a pretty big commitment for you guys to sit down and watch it an episode. But shorter than half an hour, that's kind of that's not even a not even a proper one. Oh, oh, oh! We 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 got Clark quickly. Okay, so we need an extra colonist bed, and because I'm using medical beds everywhere, can I set a hospital bed as non-medical? I can. Okay, that that's actually slightly weird, but. I'd certainly feel weird if I was just randomly sleeping in a hospital bed, but but hey, and let's get this room ready for him ASAP as well, because there's not much really that needs building for it to be ready. Uh, okay, connect through the wall. I'm, I'm fine with that. And we could probably how are we doing for wood? Still plenty of wood, so let's get the floor at least up to this spot. Uh, maybe. Maybe get the corridor done as well, so they're as fast as possible. I think the f the um, the granite is slightly slower moving speed than the uh, than the wooden boards, but I can't remember. Maybe not. Let's have a look. Ninety three to one hundred. Yeah, it's, it's ever so slight difference. Oh, nice to get him on board so quickly. So what are you going to be? Yes, you're very good at hunting. I'm sure you are. Him and Grammarie are finally finally getting some people that can shoot. Uh, but you're also good enough at constructing and repairing that we can raise that up and take Nurl's priority more onto mining. Yes, that's nice. And have a bit of hauling from you as well. And we want you to be a patient and a firefighter as well. Nice. That's looking good. But that's not a happening. Uh, is he armed? He's not going to be armed, is he? We need to sort him out a good weapon. Wherever he may be. I need to check his clothes as well. Clark, what are you wearing? Gear. This kind of looks alright. You got a cowboy hat for him? Oh, clearly one of our own made cowboy hats. Come on, whack that on your head. Have one of those and you can have... Where's that good charge rifle we picked up? It was in here, wasn't it? Good 98, normal. Poor, yeah, let's have the, the good charge rifle for you as well. Sweet. Would really like some better selection of weaponry, but that's pretty nice. These are charging up kind of slow. More binging, eh? No. Stop going for the bit. I can't even draft you to stop you as well. Once you're once you binging, you're binging. That's it. This I should have done differently. 
In fact, I will do differently. I'm going to build a, another entranceway into this room so that these two rooms can be used independently and the power network connects up independently so I can have one on whichever way, where, which, whichever way round I want. So how are we going to do this? Are we going to mine a little corridor? What are we going to have in this area here? What can we have that takes up that much room? Another fridge? Might come in handy to have one more spread out. How are we looking position-wise? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Kind of want something in there, but... I don't want to have it as just wasted space. Oh. <laughs> but what to have it as? It's just to run power as well. It's nothing else, so... I could just knock a hole in this end of the room. Do it that way, but that's a little inelegant. I'll, I'll think about that as we go. That's not important. And clock. Thank you. And my medical bed back as medical, I think. Okay. Now, I must, the other thing I've been thinking of is this room. It'd be nice if it could be a little bit longer, but... I have a feeling we are right on the edge of what's going to collapse. Like one more row there would be awesome. Then I could find some way of putting the sun lamp slightly differently and have an entrance in the back instead of having them run round each time. But again, this is me being picky more than anything else. Just trying to make sure that we are relatively efficient now because there's a lot of running around going on. It costs us quite a lot of time if we don't keep things pretty efficient along the way. Hence why some of this stuff is not getting done. There's still stuff kicking around outside on the floor. Go and get it. Yeah, I'm going to use this hospital room as a cut through so that they're not going the whole way around. Probably not going to be the great for the person who sleeps in there, mind. But and we're going to change the door on the other side to an auto door as well. Nice and quick, which means it's going to need power, although this corridor is going to need power anyway, so let's run it down this edge. Things looking strong, things looking strong. Get these extra rooms built up. Keep exploring down here. I'll run some more exploratory tunnels soon by the looks of things, although we've come across plenty of ore. I'm now intrigued to find what other stuff we find down there. I was not expecting to find a big room like that. I don't really know what to expect to find in it either. There's doors down, some beds down. No. The wooden beds are just fine. And the lights. Awesome. This is starting to expand to be quite big back here. Not that we're really making use of all the space right now. We're kind of we've got a bigger colony than we really need, other than bedrooms and the bedrooms I, I could do a lot smaller this is this is luxurious living for these guys even though I, I also noticed looking this morning that our uh, where is it, is it well that's no, in history isn't it in here our, our mood graph is staying very stable I need to try and do some stuff to perk people up a bit like get some carpet down yeah you know, just generally Stick some stuff down that raises the beauty value of where we are, once we've got the people to maintain it properly. So let's have a look. we got wood, and it's got beauty of two, and then the carpet has a beauty of two as well. So really, there's, there's no point changing there. Is there anything better than two? No. Okay, so we got we got the best looking floors we can get our hands on. Uh, we can put plants around the place, uh, although don't really seem to directly affect beauty. Let's have a look. Beauty twenty four. Okay, so actually, 
plants are really good to have around just as a kind of mood booster the other thing we could do is up the quality of our meals again but looks like where's Mako looks like he's not getting as much cooking done as he used to because we are down to simple meals only are we out of meat we're out of meat right so we need to do some hunting who's on hunting Grammary is our main guy and then we've got Clark our new fella who we could also keep him as he let's, let's turn him off for a moment just use Grammary because we know the problems with having too many hunters at once lots of people end up getting shot and then dare I right I'm gonna do a dangerous thing and I am going to hunt some of the creatures that are actually in our base clear them out but it does mean that they have a habit of wandering in the way of the shots look where's Grammary shooting from Grammy shooting from way back there because he's got a sniper rifle can we give you anything else that's a little bit more suitable we got a charge rifle and we've got a pump shotgun that's not bad I feel that's a suitable hunting sort of weapon yeah I mean, okay, a rifle is a pretty suitable hunting weapon, but not when it means that they're gonna, he's gonna do his hunting from miles away and dramatically increase the chances of there being someone in the way when he takes his shot. Yeah, this is much better. And uh, now we're doing for time. Yeah, it's it's stretching out. I think. I think I'll give it a minute or two longer and then I might have to call the episode without there being a dramatic ending for I think the first time ever. Normally the storyteller is pretty good to me and shows up about what I want to uh, Yay! One of the moon, an eclipse, and a large piece of an alien ship. Ah. I think that's pretty pretty spot on. Where is it landed? Over there. Now, don't think this is gonna be so much of the threat that it was last time, but I do think that that is actually a really nice point to call, call the episode on its head. It's not like we need to go and do something immediately about that. Uh, we need to do something soon, but not instant. So I'm just going to let this hunting finish so I don't freak out when it... Uh, oh no, it's not It's not about to finish because he's about to get a bed. Alright then, that'll do. We got aliens, fellas. Aliens, alien drone, which is never good. Uh, we do need to go and deal with that pretty much immediately at the start of the next episode. I'm probably going to crack the mortars out, get a team down there with some snipers to pick off the nasty cybers that come out, and otherwise, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please hit like, please hit subscribe. It really helps me in the channel out, and I will catch you next time.